Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So I'm back again with another interesting topic. Today we are going to look at Active Directory migration. So we are going to look at how we can migrate Active Directory from Server 2012 R2 to Server 2019. So in order to do that, before migration, uh, what we are going to do, uh, we have to see these things are already prepared and which includes we should have either physical or virtual server, depending on the resource, depending on the environment, we need to install Windows Server 2019 standard or data center. Of course, we need to patch the server to the latest Windows updates. Of course, we have to activate, uh, change the name, assign the dedicated IP and join it to domain. This is something which has to be there before migrating it. Of course, your business requirements, analysis, planning has to be there. But of course, this is a lab environment. We are not going to talk about those things. But of course, we are going to talk about what needs to be in place so that we can upgrade on top of it. Then steps to follow while we would be migrating it. What we are going to do is we are going to install Active Directory domain services role. Of course, we will do the migration of application and server roles from existing domain controllers, migrate FISMA role to new domain controller, and then we will decommission old domain controller. I'm not going to do this activity today because I have to do certain more things. And then we can raise the domain and forest functional level on the server. So to demonstrate this thing, I have server 2012 R2 which has my FISMO roles, all FISMO roles are installed on that. And then we have Windows Server 2019, which is prepared and we would be migrating these roles to that server. So in current setup, we have DC as a name of the server. In new setup, we have DC01. Current operating system, we have 2012 R2. And new setup has server 2019. The IP address is 192.168.10.100 and the new server IP has uh, the new server has the IP of 192.168.10.150 and both are of course locally joined to lab.local. All right. So let's get started with the migration process. So now if you look over here, this is my lab setup. This is my machine, which is server 2019, which you can see from here also. Right, and it has DC01 as name, right? And this is server 2019 standard. And what you need to do over here is, of course, if you want, you can check IP address of this machine as as I have already said in my slides, it's 192.168.10.150. This machine is already joined to domain. Uh, if you look over here, I'll just show you. Um, in fact, let's sign out because I logged in with a local user. Let's log in with domain. Right. So meanwhile, I'm logging with domain credentials. Let's come over here and see this is my, so this is my old server. If you look over here, this is server 2012 R2. The name of this server is DC. And if I want to show you the IP, it has multiple interfaces, but the one which we are interested in is this one. All right. If you see over here, 10.100, what we are going to do is we are going to now go back to our new server. This is joined to domain already. What we are going to do is, as I said, first step, what, what we would need to do is we need to 
install Active Directory role and services over here. So of course, to do that, you have to go to Server Manager, Active Directory Domain Services role, which we are going to install. We keep everything as default, and we are going to say next over here, next over here, and restart the destination server if required. I'll do that and I'll click on install. Now we will wait for this to get installed. So now if you look over here, our installation is completed. And if we come over here, it shows over here that promote this server to domain controller. It does not require reboot, of course. That's why it did not ask me to reboot it, but it didn't reboot it, of course. So let's click on promote this server to domain controller and see what we have to configure over there. So I have a capability while I'm creating domain uh, controller services, I can create a new forest, which I don't need over here because I already have a domain where I need to join this machine as an additional domain controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use add a domain controller to existing domain and I'm going to use the name of my domain and I'll say next over here. All right, so what it says, verification of replica failed. The forest function level is not supported to install a Windows Server 2019 domain or domain controller. The forest function level must be Windows Server 2008 or higher. Right, so one thing which I forgot over here is my domain controller functional level or as function level. So to verify that, we'll come over here. Good, we got it so that we can see what is going on over here. Let's look at our function level right now. You see now my function level is 2003 correctly. So what we need to do is we need to raise domain function level over here to either 2012 2008 or above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it to 2012 R2. All right. So now if I check the properties, my domain function level is changed back to this thing. All right. All right. So my domain functional level is already up now I need to raise my forest functional level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to either 2008 2008 R2 2012 or 2012 R2 I'm going to raise it to 2012 R2 now so now if you look over here my properties shows the main function level is 2012 R2 and forest function level is 2012 R2 also. So now let's go back to my new server and now let's try to do the same thing. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's cancel this and let's try to do it again. All right. Let's try it. It says verification of replica failed. The specified domain lab is still using the file replication service to replicate this. FRS is depreciated. The server being promoted does not support FRS and cannot be promoted as a replica into the specified domain. You must migrate a specified domain to use DFS replication using the DF. SR migration command before continuing, of course, to this. Again, another error. Let's go and check out how we can resolve this. By the way, there are different ways which you can use in order to cope up with this situation. Um, there is express migration and different type of basically migration, hyper migration stuff like that. So what we are going to do is we are going to just use this, this method, which I'm going to show you now what I would do in this case. First thing, I would check if this process has already been run or not of the migration. All right. 
I'm going to use this command. All right, I'm going to use this command to check. So it says has not yet initialized to start in migration. Please set the global state to desired value. In this case, what we are going to do is we are going to use one start it. Right. Start new DS, DFSR global state prepared. Migration will process to prepared state. DFSR service will copy the content. If any domain controller is unable to start migration, try manual polling or run with option. Option create global objects. Migration can start anytime between 15 minutes to one hour. And it says succeeded. All right. Now the next step for this is to change the state to redirected. So if you look over here, our current state now is prepared. Now we have to make it to redirected. For that, we are going to use command for, all right, I think I made a mistake again. All right, now it says succeeded. Let's check the status now. It says redirected now. Let's go to, because now we have to do eliminated. So we have to change the state to eliminated. So what we are going to do now is change it to eliminated. And current close and migration will prepare to be eliminated. Run this option and then let's check the state. It is not eliminated. Now as we have eliminated that service. Now let's try. And now it's done. So we have seen how we can sort out these issues also if we get it during the upgrade process. Now let's provide the password. All right. Click on next. And we are going to go next. All right, I'm not going to change anything. Next, next, next. And install. This may take a little time uh, while working with it. Uh, so we have to just wait for it. Once this configuration is completed, we have to restart the system and log back into this. You see that computer is being restarted because Active Directory Domain Services was installed or removed on this. So let's close and wait for this restart to happen. Once the system is back, what we are going to do is we have to check the ADDS status. All right. And that we are going to do using PowerShell commands. So my server is restarted. Let's log in back to this. So as I said earlier before the restart that once our domain controller is up, um, additional domain controller of course, first thing what we are going to do is we are going to check the services status. So I'm going to run my PowerShell now. And I probably prefer to run as as administrator. Spend it to my taskbar. Right? So the command to get the status is get service ADWS, which is basically Active Directory Web Service, KDC for Kerberos, 
net log on of course for net log on and dns so if you look over here all my services are running the next step is to get the um, domain controller statuses uh, through, uh, from the site so what we are going to use is we are going to use this command over here all right and we can see all the domain controllers with their ip addresses and their site names now the next step what we are going to do is we are going to migrate all five fismo roles to the new domain controller using the command interface itself we can do it from graphical interface also but the, the preferred way for me is to use powershell uh, to check this so before doing it what i'm going to do is i'm going to verify where exactly these roles are running all right so let's check this so if you look over here currently my all roles are running into dc.lab.local which is my previous server so now when we have verified over Fismo role where they are running we have to migrate them to migrate them we have to run the command move ad directory just be careful when you are typing i always does this i always misspell it um, ad directory server operation master role identity identity and then i need to type the name of my new server all right and then operation master role sorry schema schema master domain naming master just be careful with the spelling when you are typing it uh, pdc emulator emulator and rid master and last one is infra structure master just verify it once more and then we'll click on enter and it says move operation master role do you want to move role schema master of course i would say yes to all all right and then let's verify now so now if you look over here all my fismo roles are migrated to my new server over here now i can just uninstall my domain controller and demote operational master role or remove application partition from my previous server thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which i'm talking about thank you and stay blessed